this is Sam from Instant Beauty. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, you know, the weather's starting to change and it's getting colder, which is scary, but so far it's not so bad. So if you live in Canada you, or Ontario, you know what I mean. Other parts of Canada I think already had snow, which uh, sucks unless you like snow. Anyways, the point of this video today is I wanted to do my honest review of castor oil. The brand I have here is Art Naturals. Um, about five weeks back, I did a video describing that I was about to start it um, because I had a bad experience with eyelash extensions and on this eye, like I had a huge bald spot, a lot of my eyelashes had fallen out. So I just wanted to explain five weeks later. I originally wanted to do two weeks, but unfortunately I forgot. Um, and I wasn't taking the uh, or uh, applying the castor oil um, every night like I wanted to, so I was doing it every other night. And I figured I'd give it a couple extra weeks just to be safe and to give it an honest shot. Um, and honestly, I I found it was awesome. Um, my eyelashes are longer than they ever have been, and they're fuller, and there's no more bald spots. So I'm not really sure um, how long eyelashes take to grow back on their own. But I do think this sped this up, and even at like the two, three week mark, they were already almost perfect, like back to normal. So I definitely think that this helped. Um, I also uh, gave it to a couple of other family members to try, and they have said that they're not sure, you know, if it's like a psychological thing, but they feel like they've noticed a difference too. So I definitely would recommend it. So again, all I did was apply a little bit to a Q-tip. Um, tried to do it every night again and didn't but um, a little bit to a q-tip and I applied it on my lashes and then went to bed so you know all night long um, it had a chance to soak it I also used it on my eyebrows <clears throat> I've tried to change the shape of my eyebrows so um, I've been using this and I haven't been plucking or waxing and my eye eyebrows are like really bad I'm sure I'm sure you can see it and everybody who sees me is always like hey, what's up with your eyebrows, to change the shape. So I, I have been using this. And yes, I do find that my eyebrows are extremely bushy. It's just I do have a few bald spots that it hasn't seemed to see any um, new hair growth yet. So I'm not sure. I'm going to keep trying though. Hopefully they fill in a little bit and then I can wax them in the shape that I want. I think just to sum it all up again, I would definitely give this a shot. Um, I think it really does help. And um, about the eyelash extensions, I'm not saying I would never do it again, but it wasn't a good experience for me. Um, and I think that I just maybe should do uh, research, more more research on a better place to go and a more experienced technician. Um, so I would, you know, hopefully don't ever experience that again. So I, if I could give anybody a tip is don't go to the cheapest place or, or to the deal. Um, you know, go to a place that you've heard is really, really good. Because you don't want to have to worry about messing up your eyelashes. Anyways, that's about it. Um, if you guys have tried castor oil and you've had a similar experience as me, uh, let me know. And uh, if you have any good tips on where to go for your eyelash extensions, uh, <laughs> uh, drop a comment below. Anyways, that's about it guys. See you later. Bye.